This is a little reaper with a recap of the Airsoft Top Shot 3 which took place yesterday at Castle Airsoft Surplus. Now dropping by today was one of our Viper Tactical friends, Tactical Pigtails here. Now she helped us out yesterday with taking some of the scores, doing some of the times, and she was actually out on the field for a couple of events. So we're going to kick it over to her and see what she thought of the event. It was a great time, had a blast, got a bunch of really cool stuff in the raffle. Everybody that I talked to said that they had a phenomenal time. They said that the spinner target was pretty much the bane of their existence that day. I heard quite a few bad words, but uh, all in all, great event. So what would you actually think of uh, Josh Wiggins and, let's say, Jeremy the Fish doing the dance right before lunch, though? <laughs> they, uh, they always get a little rowdy when they get around each other. Uh, we sang Journey in the morning, but I felt as though we all kind of needed that. Um, it did bring everybody together. It though. brought everybody together. We had a bunch of different people from a bunch of different teams singing the same song. I, I just don't understand how that happened. But <laughs> anyways, I know you probably want to hear some of the results. Uh, if you were there, you did hear these results. Coming in first on the pistol was Josh Lowington from Viper Tactical, of course, one of your teammates. Coming in on the two-gun, the pistol rifle was Chris Gullick, again, from Viper Tactical. And on the three gun was our boy Lucas from up there at Castle Airsoft. <laughs> Man, that little guy smoked everybody <laughs> by like nine or ten seconds that I know of. He got done, he's all, what was my time, time, good, good, good. And then we're like, okay, it was pretty interesting. Then also, uh, Ace Award. That went to one of your guys too, didn't it? Yeah. Chris Gullick again. I mean, guy was on fire. Of course, the one thing that I had brought me down... Sabrina lost to her dad by 0. .3 seconds. Yeah. Well, that, maybe that'll be a event that'll happen over the time, father versus daughter. Also, we want to thank Rick Krasner from AMS, Drew Misfit One Wilson, and then we also want to thank Clan Reckoning for everything they did to, for us. I mean, they gave us the awards, these nice little dog tags that Mindy's wearing, the Ace Award that we got out. We want to thank Pope, Pope for coming out from Lion's Claw. He brought some stuff out. Nice thing that he did, though, is some of these events you have to be 18 to go to. Well, some of our guys weren't 18. He bought out a swag bag of goodies for people under 18 that won that raffle also, which I thought was pretty interesting. I've never seen that happen. Mm -hmm. USA Airsoft for coming out and doing some videoing. Chris Big Candy Andrews from TMA for coming out and giving away some of those nice little rail mounts. You see where they were those laser engraved? Mm -hmm. Something to think about for your rifle if you want to upgrade it a little bit. Also, for all of our sponsors who came out, we just... We can't even thank y'all enough for all the stuff that we got. We raised over $1,000 for the Salvation Army and for the Toys for Tots of Abilene. I mean, that's just in itself phenomenal. Our registration alone beat what we had for the last two years combined. You can't beat it. A good cause, airsoft, what better than that? And then, of course, everybody played afterwards, and it was funny to be in the blue room. And Drew came back in. He started loading up his magazines. His teammate goes, why you load them all? He looks and goes, it's payback. <laughs> You got nine magazine. I know. <laughs> then, of course, with Chili's, ate a little bit of dinner, had a couple of drinks. Everybody had some great laugh, exchanged some stories, and pretty much got home at what time? After midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Everything broke down, but again, we do want to thank Crystal Castleman up there at Castle Airsoft for opening the doors and allowing us to have that there. Thanks to all my reapers that came out and helped on the course. To Mindy here for helping out on the... The timesheets, Jensen helping out on the timesheets, sexy behind the camera and behind all the stuff. It just, it was a great event and we hope for four to come around and everybody to show up for that. Don't forget to check us out on our website, texasreaper.org and at facebook.com backslash texasreaper. This is Little Reaper. See you on the field. Huh.